Hello everybody, I'm Classy and welcome back to The Walking Dead. So we were there looking for Clementine, looking for Clementine, My tongue is twisting all around. Anyways, so yeah, we were there looking for Clementine because she was gone and then she... I mean, the guy who was on the, on the walkie-talkie before, he called us on the walkie-talkie and... I think he kidnapped her, probably. So let's start this episode. Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here. You can have some, too. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. This is something I have to do alone. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. I don't know why you're looking over here, Lee. You know, uh, I think it'd be best if you stayed behind with the boat. <laughs> Clementine. Hello, Lee. Yep, that's the scene. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you... I choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping me. Then what is it? A rescue. Confusing. But okay. He's still the bad guy. Probably. You better not fucking hurt her. I swear. This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. All right. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. It's thumping a little bit. You seem okay right now. We don't have a lot of time. We're about to have a lot less. Yep. We'll stop that's... them if we have to. That's true. We find a way out of here. Okay. I'll be quick. What is that? This isn't gonna help. Looks like Vernon and his people cleared their shit out of here in a hurry. Where the hell did they go? We'll find that. So. Just some surgical supplies. Let's do this. Mm. 
We're gonna need something. We are gonna need something to break the door. Uh, nothing useful in here. Okay. Let's check the drawers. That would work. I think it's some sort of spreading device. Bruce's meal just looking at it. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Uh oh. This is not good. Hello? No. No. Uh oh. Christ! What the hell happened? It's the bite. Well, what can we do? I don't know. Help me move him. Oh no. Jesus. Are you sure this will help? You got any better ideas? Okay. It's now or never. I'm awake! Hun, he's awake! We have to deal with this bite. Right now. I'm with you, just look at him! We've gotta save him. We need every second we have. Yeah, I know. We've gotta take the arm. Do we know it works? Of course not. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Hey. I'm laying right here. Sorry, man. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. I'd be happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? Oh, man. This ain't good. Let's go. Here we go. All right, up we go. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor, or even the roof. Sounds good. Nice and quiet, everybody. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Ah! Oh my god. Let's go. Watch out! That was fucking close. Everything okay up there? Oh, just fucking peachy. Let's go. Uh oh. Wait, you all right? Oh. 
Oh, man. Lee! Lee! Oh, God. Are you alive? Get up! I'm alive. I think. You have to pull yourself up. <laughs> Let's go. Good job. Let's go, Lee. Come on, man. You can do this. That's a lot of zombies. Wasn't this city empty not too long ago? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There's thousands. Seems like they followed us here. But that can't be, can it? That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? <clears throat> Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. It's the bite. Just have to deal with it. Just let us know if you start feeling funny. Like, if things are happening. All right. It's just <clears throat> dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We need to get down there and find a scared little girl. Let's try to get our hands. <sighs> okay. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna go into that bell tower? Hello? Some poor bastard took a spill. Hmm. True that. It's an extension ladder. Okay. What's over here? That looks like Crawford Square over there. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Okay. No. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. That could help. Uh, okay. That's a bell tower. Like the ones Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. Okay. Let's talk to Brista. See what she's up to. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Alright. Can we get the ladder? Yeah, we can. <laughs> there we go.
The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You shouldn't be the one to go. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. No. I'll go. No. No. If we have to decide who takes <clears throat> a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? If something happens to me, you two are all she's got, okay? Be careful. Here we go. <clears throat> Hurry. Let's go. Uh oh. oh shit. Damn. Fuck. Holy shit, man. Are you okay? You? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? Coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! Okay. Oh man. I think I have to jump! There's no way back! Fuck! Be careful! Alright. You got this! Got this motherfucker. <sighs> running start, running start. Let's go. There we go. Oh my god, that was scary. Nice. Now let's get the hell out of here. What the hell? You motherfuckers! What the f They fucked us! What? Who? That guy with his crew of sick people. They took the boat. They're gone! Vernon! He didn't have Clem. So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck. Just... Jesus! Wait. The cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. Kicked the shit out of both of us? Oh How are you my. doing with, uh, everything happening there? We were going to cut it off, but Lee objected. We're all gonna end up one of two ways. It's great that you can be tough about it, but how do you feel? It comes in waves. I took a couple spills getting back here. So keep an eye on me. Jesus. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. 
Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. Oh, no. <laughs> we can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? All right. Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, not just you. Chill? Bandits, hey, chill, here's some pills. Vernon, chill, here's our fucking boat. This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault. Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Jeez, Ben. Oh, ben. Um... Uh, save oh, shit. it. Here they come. <laughs> In the house. <clears throat> Oh my god, this, all of this is, uh, is a spaghetti in the mind. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista, get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny, look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. All ben. right. Kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Ben, just do it! Omid! What is it? What? Uh-oh. Front doors! <laughs> what are you gonna do? Bite me again? Come on, dude. Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Here we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Take their goddamn arms off! One down. Two down. Three down. Let's go. Now what? This is a big sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. Mm, nope, it won't. Shit! Oh Get wow! Upstairs. Go! Isn't that? Yeah, that's Bree. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Guys, help me with this! Let's go! Help Kenny! Oh my god, I have to tap Everyone so fast. Get the the what do we do now? This will slow him down. We get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Can be safe? Can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four, two, y'all know where to aim. Get ready. Oh, 
Okay. I'm out of ammo. Do something else. I'm out! Me too! Fuck! Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening! Up! Go! That's good. That's better. They cannot reach up there. They can never reach up there. Here, um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. Thank you. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. Relax, guys. Relax. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to just... Um, okay. But you keep dying. Lee, get up! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel. Where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have made you take it off. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation. About what happens if Lee takes another spill? Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! No. You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No, this mansion butts up against the one next door. Okay. This wall ain't shit. 
Is this really possible? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well, you we gotta be honest. let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just... Wham! The thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like I break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get thunder time, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but it's not that easy. We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's got to be something. No. <clears throat> I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? He'll figure himself out one way or another. What do you mean by that? He'll either get his act together, or something will happen to him. That's it? What else is there to say? He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death, and it's just more complicated than that. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be alright, Ken. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. <clears throat> That's why anger is not always the solution. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. 
And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kitty. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. Okay. Okay. Jeez. I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. We did it. Okay. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Oh, man. Dude. <clears throat> My God. Smart. Think of all the people we've seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. We all could have done more. Myself included. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Okay. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Yeah. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Okay. Uh, dude? Ben! Uh oh. That's not good. Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. Will... Keep an eye out. Here we go. Ow. Oh. I'm okay. Okay. Are you for sure? I'm okay. Just get me out of here. Shh, quiet, Ben, or they'll be on top of us. Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, Fucking no. hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh! Oh. 
But we gotta do something. Please. Here we go. Do something. Oh man. Fuck. Fuck. Oh no. Oh god, don't let them get to me. Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Kenny? Okay. I'm going. Good. Get back up there. Now! This is suicide, Kenny. You can't do this! Fucking go! Kenny. <clears throat> Oh no. Back, you sons of bitches! Yeah! Oh fuck! Kenny, please! What happened? I couldn't do anything. Ben was really messed up. Kenny couldn't leave him and... It was just fucked. God damn! God! I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. <laughs> what? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He wasn't a bad guy. A lot of folks might not have always agreed. Maybe even me. We should go. Okay. Right behind you. Man. Do you want to talk? That's two on him now. The motherfucker's got Clementine has been and Kenny to answer for. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. And we'd be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. Look, Lee. This is a shitty time. But I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Whoa, careful. 
Even the buildings are full. They never know where the next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. The Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. Sure. Yeah. Don't worry. I got this. Just go nice and slow. Okay, we eat. I know what I'm doing. Probably. This is probably not gonna break. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Uh oh. Oh no. Grab it. Shit. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kinda fucked here. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Let's meet outside of town. By the train! Are you nuts? It's the only way! Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train! Jesus! We'll be there! Alright. Gotta do this. Oh, man. No. <clears throat> Ooh, that's some badass music, though. Here we go. How you doing? Let's go. We're gonna do this. Oh my god, Lee. And you were feeling sick? My god, man. You're kicking ass. Awesome. Here we are. <coughs> the Marsh House. Where is, where is she? I was gonna say, where is Clementine? And I got mixed up with Bean. Where is she and where is Clementine? Okay. 
Let's see what's up in here. Got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. <laughs> Go sit down. You don't have to point a gun at me. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything <laughs> about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, Things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Used to. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. Hurt who? Your wife? My son Adam went missing. Oh. Uh. I took him out hunting, <clears throat> even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him, and the look on her face said, You are a monster. And you are. There's no doubt in that. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So bad. And then we came back. And all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. Oh man. They didn't get far, I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you?
no. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I would do it differently if I could. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! That's not your choice to make. That is not your choice to make. How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm going to hurt you so bad. Okay. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! You are not right, judging me. My radio. I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. Oh. But the more okay. I heard about the things you did, This is not nice. She was in. Our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. Uh, sorry. I can't hear you over I the sound of how dead you're gonna be in, that, in the next five minutes. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. No, you're not taking her. Lee. I said no. No means no. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What the hell? What are you... I'm glad to. What? He's a crazy dude with a gun. Bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Q, 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 Q. Q it up. There we go. Not gonna leave you. He kidnaps children, he judges other people, and then he keeps... Nice. Cool. Very nice. Everything is not your decision to make. He... he could come back. It's okay, Sweet Pea. We're leaving. Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. <laughs> That's what he said. <clears throat> Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he 
hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Which way out? Through there. Okay. Let's go. He kept his wife's head Jesus. in that bag. And he talked Look to her. I know. Oof. Not my call. I wouldn't do that. Uh oh. What the? Am I dead? Oh man. stuff I oh yeah a bunch of them to get here <clears throat> that's how we'll get out of Savannah hmm okay we have to cover ourselves in the guts oh no <laughs> Yeah, Clementine, I would say the same. It smells really bad. I I guess it does. I'm just imagining. Because rotten bodies? Ugh. No. No thank you. Yeah, it's gross. It's really gross. And it smells really bad. We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. <laughs> Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. <laughs> and you're missing something. I thought it was gone. Nope. I thought you were gone. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go, kiddo. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe. Let's go, girl. Oh, man. Hello. How's it going? We don't... We have to avoid bumping into zombies. We have to avoid bumping into zombies. Okay, he's heading this way. I have to stop. Let's go. Okay. 
Oh no. Oh no. I think. Yeah, that's Clementine's mob. Oh no. Oh man. Oh no. Free, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please no. Okay. He's Free. awake. I, I was so scared. I I I thought you left me. I... I... I saw my parents. Come here, sweet pea. They're dead. They really are. Uh, the baton. We have to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't! Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Oh no. Four, three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> oh, it's not gonna open. It's not gonna open. <coughs> I tried my best. <clears throat> oh man. See? Clementine, honey. What? What happened? No, 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 that's. that's not. no! No, no, no! Yes, Clem, it is. Oh man. There's no time to be upset. Okay. I'll try not to be. It's okay, Glenn. Oh, man. This is not a good time. I... I think there might be a way out over there. Yes. You're smart. You can do this on your own. Good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Clem, you're the sweetest kid anyone could ever have. <gasps> oh no. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. No, no, no. Okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. I yeah. bet. Keep going. We're almost there. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. Clem, don't cry. I can't. You have to. Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. Oh, man. <gasps> nah, I can't. Clementine. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure I don't turn. You won't, though. Clem. He will. I will. You know what you have to do. No. I can't. There's no way. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a 
glass window. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Not with your hand. Clem. Use something. There's a chair over there. There's a chair over there. Um. Okay. What's going on? We'll get you in there. Don't worry. We're doing good. Okay. There's a chair over there. Do it. Keep pulling. It might give. No. <laughs> that window. Just regular glass. There's a chair over there. Okay. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in okay okay watch out for broken glass good job good job you can do this you can do this she is it you're smarter than all of you Scared of the walker. You'll be fine. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. There we go. You can open it. Walker in there is trapped. We'll figure out what to do together. Then open it. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. Uh, there are handcuffs. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay. Jump away if he gets close. Me. You can do it. I believe in you, Clem. You can do it. There we go. That's a brave girl. What should I get first? Get the gun, Clem. I'll waste the gun. Oh no. Grab it! Oh my god. Watch out! Oh my god. Hit him. Oh, I'm gonna hit him. Here we go. Always remember to double tap the zombie. Or maybe ten times. If you have a baseball bat. I did it. I got it. You did it, Clem. You can take care of yourself. See? No, not all the time. Yeah, you can. Don't worry. There we go. Hey. 
You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. Yep. But I'm little. That doesn't matter. Nothing. You're going to see bad stuff, but it's okay. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. Oh, man. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Megan, the first days we met, do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn, we met a girl. She'd been bitten too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. Lee? And I remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. You yep. don't want to see me like one of them. Okay. You have to do it, Clementine. I can do it. I I can. Fatomid and Krista, they're outside of town by the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. That's a good girl. Good. That's a good, smart girl. <clears throat> I'll take good care of you. Oh man, this episode. Jeez. <laughs> Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Because you look cute. Good. And also. Oh no. I think it's time. What? What is it? I think it's time to end the episode, no? Alright. <laughs> the worst time to do a joke. I'm sorry. Don't be afraid. I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. Ah. Goodbye. Goodbye, Lee. Oh, man. And that's how Lee dies. Lamb lives. That's a wrap. Of season one. Season one is done. All right, I'm gonna leave this episode over here. It was, it's a big episode. Yeah. It's a big episode, but... <sighs> I'm sorry. I get emotional. Yeah. I can't hide it. I don't... I don't know. Don't judge me. Come on. <laughs> But yeah, I get emotional sometimes. Anyways, I'm going to end this episode right here. And oh yeah, I've been thinking about uh, playing some another game with this game on my channel. Because um, yeah, there might be some game that I want to play with this game like... One episode of this and one episode of that game. Some little, like, uh, shooting game. You know? Might be 
Might be looking into that soon. So, yeah, take care. I'll see you in the next episode. Stay safe. Bye-bye.